Let's answer this mixture problem. Special teacher has 400 units of 6% phosphoric acid solution and unlimited supply of 12% phosphoric acid solution. Question, how many units of the latter must she add to the former to produce 10% phosphoric acid? La 400 units of 6%. Ang of, lagay mo yan, x yan, or multiply. Itong unlimited supply of, or unlimited supply, times 12 units. And, add yan. To produce, magiging equal yan. 10% of phosphoric acid. Again. I-interpret natin pa isa-isa para makaform tayo ng equation. Itong special teacher, wag mo na isipin yan. 400 units of 6% phosphoric acid, wag mo na isipin yan. Itong 400 units times 6% units. And plus yan, unlimited supply of 12%. Ito lang isipin mo. Delete na yan. So yung unlimited palagay natin, U times 12%. Question, how many units of the latter must she add to the former to produce to produce para mag-equal ng 10% na phosphoric acid. 10% of phosphoric acid times 400 plus ito ang hanapan pa natin kung ilan yan. So, ito na yung equation. 400 of 6% plus yung i-add mo na may 12% percent of phosphoric acid must be equal to 10 percent ng 400 mo plus yung unlimited supply or yung unit na hindi mo pa alam. So, ito na yung equation natin. So, ito na yung equation natin. 400 times 6 percent U or yung X natin times 12 percent 10 percent times yung 400 kasi i-add na siya plus yung U or yung X natin na hinahanap. There are two ways of solving this kind of equation. It's either we will keep the percentage sign or we convert patong percentage into a decimal. For now, we keep muna natin yung percentage. So, just multiply. That is 2,400. We multiply mo rin yan. So, 12U. We multiply mo to, kaya 4,000, tapos ito, 10U. Ngayon, we transpose natin yung mga like signs. So, itong 400 minus 2,400 na siya. Kasi, paano ka mag-transpose? Ito, mag-minus ka rin ng 2,400 at mag-minus ka rin ng 2,400. Kaya, na-cancel ang 2,400 dito. Nasa kabila na. Ito namang 12U at saka 10U. Paano mag-cancel? Mag-minus ka ng 10U dito. Mag-minus ka rin ng 10U dito. So, ma-cancel na siya. Dito, matitira na ay ito. 12U minus 10U, ang, that means 2U equals 4,000 minus uh, 2,400, that is 1,600. Mag-transpose ka ulit. Pag, paano mag-transpose? Mag-divide ka ng 2 para makancel dyan. So, nag-divide ka rin ng 2 and that means ito na yung answer natin. Another way yung mag-convert tayo ng decimal. So, ito 0.6 na siya. Ito naman 0.12 na siya at saka ito uh, 0.1 na siya. So, 400 times 0.6, that is 24. This is 0.12. At ito naman, 0.1 times 400, that is 40 lang. At saka 0.1 times 2, so 0.1. Ganyan lang. Ngayon, mag-transpose ulit kayo. Yung tayo, 40 minus 24. Mag-minus ka dyan, makancel na yan, nag-minus ka na dito. Itong 12U at saka 0.1, nandito na. Ipagsama na natin. So, ang answer, uh, 0.12 minus 0.1, and that is 0 0.02, equals 4, 40 minus 24, that is 16. So, 16 divided by 0 0.02, that is 800. Now, let's double check. That means, yung 800 na sagot natin is tama.